All right, Twitch, this is our 100 follower special. So what, what we want to do here is show a little bit of footage of Wolfenstein enemy territory. So let's get to it here. We're going to show you an older map here, and hopefully it'll stream okay. We're going to show you a replay of Venice. I believe this is the correct one. Let's check out Venice, and you're all invited to come play. I will be providing commentary here. So Venice is a great map. Um, it's a very epic map. And uh, we're going to speed this up a little bit here until we get into the actual map. It starts out with quite a bit of carnage. Let's get to the action here, Fight. and thanks to all of our Twitch followers. So hopefully this this is a good stream, and uh, so here's here's us starting out here. First um, again, on this on this map, the Allied team needs to drive a tank through the streets of Venice and uh, destroy the door on a bank and steal an uh, not a bank a museum and steal an artifact and then drive a boat. It's a, it's a very complicated map, and it's very difficult for the Allied team. So we'll just um, show you a little bit of this, and yes, if you're wondering, I am getting owned at the beginning of the map. It has been going very badly for me. Give me a minute. I do have some good little runs on this map. That's me. SF smash o mash Killing spree. And I do come back with a pretty decent performance, actually, on this map. At least for me. So again, having some bad luck to start out is a regular thing in this game. It's very, very fast-paced. And I'm going to die again. But first, I'm going to take out Bulubina. So this is actually a little hiding spot here. A lot of people aren't aware if you can hide behind this door if you're on the Axis team. If you're on the Allied team, you can't open the door. And you can shoot through that gate if you're wondering. If you're standing near the gate when the tank shows up, you will be killed. Killing spree. We've revived a teammate. And there we got some headshots. And I got grenaded. I got rifle grenaded otherwise known as the Arnade. So yeah, this is something completely new. I know the FPS rate is a little bit on the low side because we're streaming. I think it looks somewhat okay. Let us know in the comments what you think. We have turned the volume down a little bit from our last uh, live stream like this. So here I've I've gone to a more to a more aggressive spot here, closer to where the offense should be showing up, and it doesn't work out well to my recollection. Because I got killed. So now the tank's about to the tank's about to blow through the gate here. And that's your cue to get out of this part of the map if you're on the Axis team, because the allies will start to spawn in the original Axis spawn. And shout out to Fearless Assassins. Fearless Assassins, the host of this server. They've got a great web forum also if you want to learn how to play the game. All the resources are there. It's fearless-assassins.com. Fearless fearless-assassins.com and thanks to all of the 
members over there. It's a very active clan, and this game, despite being very old, is still quite a lively community. So lots of really good players still playing this game. We absolutely love it. I'm convinced that this is the best game ever made of any game. So instead of fighting the allied team who would have been right on my heels there, I decided to make a break for it and not take a death. You can see lots of players on here. Lots of players. And I took out danger, but I put myself in too much danger because I ended up real dead. So here we're back at the the later in the map access spawn. And here's me, SF Smash O Mash. And I accidentally jumped in the water here. And I failed to climb on the boat. <laughs> yeah. Good. So that boat there is the boat that the Allied team has to drive out of town. They have repaired the tank. There, I got a couple of kills. Now I'm going to go heal myself because uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I do not want to die. I don't want to die. Unstoppable. Throwing some meds on my teammates. Time to throw a grenade. I got him. Both of them. By the way, that's friendly artillery coming in. If you're new to the game, if you play field ops, you can call in artillery strikes and air strikes, as well as pass out ammunition. And that's the class right there. That guy there that I just healed, that guy is a field ops. And that allied soldier is dead. That was a medic, by the way. I'm currently playing medic class. The game has five classes. Soldier, medic, field op, covert op, and engineer. So they actually got the objective here. I don't think they get it to the boat. And I missed with the grenade, but I, at least I avoided the flame. That doggone flamethrower. Here's my teammate with a flamethrower, by the way. It's Fragment of Saren. And I'm respawned. I'm gonna try to spawn. I'm gonna try to fast forward my respawn. There we go. I killed Death Reincarnated and I revived a teammate. Good times. Good times. And here come some bad times. This is a very dangerous spot on the map, by the way. You're very exposed here. As you can see, I got hit by a Panzerfaust. And here's some slow-mo smash o mash for you. And back to normal speed.
killing spree. Killing spree. He almost got me. I was down to seven hit points there. And my teammate comes up and saves the day. Killing spree. Oopsies, I was killed by mom's spaghetti. That is some bad spaghetti. And we're back, there's my spawn shield. And this is the museum. The allied team can blow out that wall with the crack in it. And the uh, objective is on the first floor, right in right in line with the front door. Healing up my teammate here a little bit. Now we're gonna do some teabagging. Are you ready? Here it comes. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Little bit of teabagging. For your viewing pleasure. He was teabagged. He was teabagged. And then teabagged again. At least two times. And then we teabagged him again. Repeatedly teabagged. He did not top out. He was teabagged. He was teabagged. He was teabagged. Teabagged. Don't be a D-bag. Don't forget to teabag your enemies. Yes. It's crucial. It's crucial, folks. Teabagging is one of the most underrated things in gaming, especially in FPSs. And I, once again, I escaped the flames, so good on me. Well, he got me. It happens to the best of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> By the way, this server has double jump turned on and double jump allows you to jump like a maniac at very, very high speeds and cross the map like some kind of a circus act. You can get your speeds to like 40 miles an hour in this game. And I got hit by a mortar there by Sarah J. Shout out to Sarah J. Well done with the mortar. One of the best soldier class players on the server. And this server, FA Recruiting, features the best players in the world. Now I'm going to run into some bad luck. See what I'm saying? And I got hit by Sarah J's mortar round again.
Yes, it can be very frustrating, folks. The fog of war. Killing spree. So yeah, here's your invitation, folks. Come and play this game. Uh, it's spectacular. It's all objective missions. Um, it's completely free and open source. You can write your own maps. Um, yeah, it's it's top notch. It's completely skill oriented. It's very very fast. It takes place in a World War II environment. It's always Axis versus Allies. And all of, all of these ledges on these buildings and the window frames, you can largely stand on all of those. Oh, I got them both. And now I'm getting out of there. One of the things that's good about enemy territory is it doesn't require a fast PC. And, uh... That might not be so good for you because it allows kids who are broken living in Estonia and Lithuania to play the game and play it well. There are some very, very good players in this. If you don't believe me, install the game and come play. Come play on FA Recruiting. And I'll actually, uh, at a later time, divulge... You can actually find me, put it that way. If you search for me on et.trackbase.net, et.trackbase.net, you'll find SF Smash a Mash on there. Dot dollar sign capital F hashtag smash space O apostrophe mash. And if you're wondering where the name came from, it came from gaming. I created the game I created the name in nineteen ninety nine in a game called Special Ops 2 Green Berets. So it's originally from gaming in the first place. I already had a web presence, so that's why I stuck with the name smash o -Mash. Here I got into some more bad luck. For some reason, this part of the map was not being friendly to me this day. And I got back-raged by Mom's spaghetti. Yowzers. All right, let's get back to it. Heading back to the front. Unfortunately, my teammate revived me there. Watch what happens here. This is very unfortunate. I fall in the water. I'm already timing a grenade. Which does not allow me to throw the grenade in time. And it does not work out well. 
killing spree. All right, and we're back. Killing spree. By the way, folks, visit the links. Head to smashamash.com. Maybe become a Smash Team member. And as we spend more and more time on the internet, we'll be making more and more gaming videos going forward. Eventually, I'll get a new rig and start doing actual live stream gaming too. It's it's a thing that's going to happen. Uh, I have a vast amount of experience in this as I was a game admin and a server admin. Uh, game server admin, rather, and a game forum admin before people were even on MySpace. So, this is part of the reason why I behave the way I do in places like Facebook, because I think their censorship is hilarious. And, uh, I just troll it. I troll it endlessly until either it ends or I get banned permanently. And frankly, I don't care either way. I view Facebook suspensions as a great opportunity to leave the platform forever. Because the software sucks. Unlike Twitch, where the software is spectacularly great, on Facebook, some of the worst junkware ever built, much less on the internet. Have you ever wished that a corporate headquarters was struck by a meteor, an asteroid, or perhaps a comet? Well, I certainly have. Those organizations will remain unnamed throughout this video. Alright, we've got about eight minutes to go and they still haven't gotten the relic out of the uh, museum. They haven't gotten it to the boat, at least. So we're doing a good job so far here holding them off. And it's always a little less exciting when you play defense because you're not going attacking behind enemy lines and stuff. Killing spree. Defensive role a little bit more conservative than an offensive role, obviously. And the allies are pretty bogged down here. And I think I actually get a kill here. Nope. I thought it was a lucky grenade. By the way, grenades are overpowered on this server. And so beware. You will get gibletized from, from one grenade. Even if you're at full health. By the way, I've recently made it into the uh, the top 600, I think. There are about, I think, like 20,000 ranked players in this game right now. So I'm well into the top 1,000. Looking to get into the about the top 200, I think, is about where I belong. I just haven't had enough time to get my rating up high enough. Again, you can follow your rating and create a login at et.trackbase.net. It's a great tracker. It'll tell you your stats. And it might help you to improve if you don't understand how the game is scored. You pick up experience points in the game and people play for various different reasons. Some people play for rating. Some people play just to be annoying. Some people want the most kills. Some people only play a certain class and so on. So it's uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But all the maps are objective missions. And I have a little bit of a lull in the action here. I'm just looking through binoculars, trying to figure out where to find some targets to shoot at. And throwing a bunch of medkits for my unhealthy teammates. Killing spree. And I try to heal him, but it did not work out. <laughs> I got grenaded. At least I didn't get gibletized. Which means turned into giblets, if you're wondering. Alright, let's get back to the fight here.
I keep falling in the water. I don't know why. It was just a... Uh, just a watery day. Now that time, I got newbie, and newbie got me. He threw a grenade. I shot him as the grenade exploded. We killed each other. It's not all that common. It happens pretty often, especially on this server, actually. But it's not... It's not the most common thing. And he got me. Dynamite planted. Five minutes, so kill me. No, no. And we're back on a fresh spawn here with a little under five minutes to go. I got Zig. Zig definitely should have zagged. And now I should have zagged because I got back raged again. Shout out to Vidmo. Nice shooting there, Vidmo. And we're back. And Vidmo is a pretty good player. He's a regular on FA recruiting. And I got owned up again. All right, let's see if we can salvage some points here. Go accomplish something. And a lot of people in this game will just play the same part of the map all the time. It's a fairly effective strategy. And one of Sarah J's mortars hit me again. And I've been poisoned. Watch this, I've been poisoned. So I'm going to blow myself up so that guy doesn't get the kill. I'm never going to drop that grenade. You ready? You want to see somebody gibletized? There you go. I've been gibletized. And let's get back to the front. A little under three minutes to go here. And there's pretty much no hope for the Allied team at this point. There's no way they're going to get the Relic and drive the boat all the way out of town. So we've pretty much won by this point. And I wasn't really playing for the objective. I largely just play for raiding. And again, you will find the best players in the world on this server every day. At least the best public players. And we'll talk at a later time about the best players, period. It's complex when it comes to this game. There is still a European Cup for this. Some people take enemy territory very seriously. Enemy territory. It's serious business. So yeah, I can tell you right now we're going to win this map. There's definitely no time for them to accomplish their mission here. And uh, yeah, you're invited to come play. Come play Enemy Territory. It's free, open source. It's spectacular. This server is great. The people are really cool. And it requires a very high level of skill to be very good at this. You will not be good overnight. I pretty much guarantee it. Although some FPS gamers will be very good right out of the box. So I'm throwing a lot of meds here in case my teammates take damage. And there's a Grenadier right there, and I can't seem to get him. This guy I'm going to get, though. Got him. And I was knocked in the water by a friendly grenade. <laughs> okay, so it's Smash Timber, folks. It's September 1st, and uh, we've kicked off our new website. Make sure you check it out. Subscription service is available at smashamash.com slash smash team. Smashamash.com slash smash team. And Danger put himself in a little bit too much danger there as he got shot right in the face.
So yeah, thanks for tuning into this live stream, folks. It's always fun uh, reviewing previous games. Again, check out Fearless Assassins servers. Fearless-assassins.com is their website. Maybe support their server if you like the game. You can help to pay for it. And that's about it. So yeah, thanks for tuning into the stream. Look for more videos like this coming soon. Visit our websites. You can find links at smashomash.com. And we'll see you next time here at the Smash News Network. Least busted. Name and news.